Mike Tyson was supposed to fight Jake Paul. <laughs> uh, he got on the flight. He had a medical emergency. They called doctors to the front. And uh, Cle- you know, clearly R2-D2 was not on the plane. R2-D- there was no C-3PO. This is, this, was, this is the end of Rogue One, actually. Jake Paul, he saw that Mike Tyson was having a medical emergency. And he broke down the door right there. And he was like, we're going right now, Mike. Yeah, exactly. Like he, it, his lightsaber just lit up. You know, damn. By the way, great movie, <laughs> dude. The, the, uh, I, I've, I've argued this, and I'll argue this for, probably until the day I die. Rogue One might be the best Star Wars movie. It's up there. It's up there yeah. for sure. I mean, that ending. I'll never forget seeing in theaters, dude. That ending scene. Whenever, like, there's never been a. There's very few times where it's like, oh, you're fucked. So, like, just like where, like, they're in, they're in the fucking the the plane or whatever, and it's just. <sighs> yeah, that was good. And it's just like, and then all of a sudden the lights are lights up, and it's like, oh, you are fucked, my boy. You you are done. Uh, yeah, just excellent, incredible movie. I I literally, I think I told you the story. I was at the gym like two years ago. It was like ten o'clock at night. I'm just fucking running. I'm like, all right, just ten more minutes and I'm done. And then I'm watching TNT. AEW wraps up and Rogue One comes on. I'm like, I'll basically be here for the next ninety minutes. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and then I was there for the next ninety minutes just watching Rogue One. Guess to the scene where like the guy starts sacrificing himself and like crying on the trip. I'm like, fuck man, you know. Anyways, yeah, Mike Tyson suffered a medical emergency on the plane. And uh, you know, terrible situation. They said afterwards that it was an ulcer, which, you know, whatever. I, I don't really Look, dude, if you're this, this is the issue, and when you're 60 years old, damn near 60 years old and trying to have a boxing what, match. What, what's the date that this fight's happening again? July 20th on Netflix. Wow, we're less than a month away now. Yeah, so we're 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 approaching it very fast. And look, as from my understanding, the situation is is that he was on a plane. I don't know where they were where he was at or whatever. He was boarding a plane, and uh at some point before the plane the plane took off, Mike Tyson started having a medical emergency, which they later said was the ulcer. We never you know, that's his camp. So take that with a grain of salt. And um, they called doctors to the front of the plane. And then uh, I guess like he was having like issues breathing or something. And then he ended up getting off the plane. And then, uh, you know, that was it. And we still haven't heard anything beyond the fact We're that. still waiting. That the one, fight could not happen. That actually. one statement. Yeah, the fight could not happen. And, you know, Jake Paul came out and said that like, oh, it's not true. You know, the fight's still Who happening. Could they get us a backup though? To fill in that big of a story. Chael Sonnen already offered to fight him on Twitter. He already offered to step in. I mean, I know someone who could come in on short notice. Who who do you want to see? If, if Mike Tyson truly can't Andre fight. Andre Ward. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah, Jake Paul, you want to fight retired guys? We got a guy right here for you. <laughs> Canelo Alfred. Can, can, Dude, Canelo can go in there and clear house probably. <laughs> I think. I, I think even good. He would. Yeah, exactly. Can I mean, if there's a look, dude, Jake Paul says that he's going to fight Ryan Canelo Garcia, one day. Question mark? Ryan, well, Ryan Garcia said that he's going to step up if Mike can't make it. <laughs> he said he's going to be there. So, and look, dude, look, yes, he did just fail a drug test, but they are fighting in Texas. And Texas would sanction a duel if they, so they don't give a fuck. <laughs> Man, fuck that, Josh. We talk about the next fight because we got to talk about guys who probably, actually, one of the guys has definitely tested positive for it. She probably both of them. <laughs> what are you talking about? We, we found out last week, Josh, yeah. that Darren Till. And Julio Cesar Chavez Jr. will be fighting on this card. Co-main question mark? Uh, not the co-main, not the co-main. Um, that's that's a uh, Serrano Taylor too. Deservingly, but they are going to be somewhere on the main card. But isn't it crazy we get that masterpiece on that card? Oh my god, dude! And by the way, like, there's a very good chance that Darren Till will win this fight, and it's going to be so funny. The thing is, though, he he can't do it any better than Anderson Silva, can he? No, no. I mean, dude, Anderson Silva beat Julio Cesar Chavez Jr.'s ass like a so child. bad. He beat him so bad that even in Mexico, the judges were like, fuck. Like, we got to give it to him. Yeah. Not even that. His father didn't even care to go, so can go consult his son. Dude, bro. His, honestly, I got to say it. I kind of hate that everybody's kind of addicted to Junior. Because, like, if you look up, like, his story, like, his dad was, like, not involved in his life, like, at all. Well, dude, his I mean, granted, the guy did fight, like, a hundred yeah. plus times in his entire, you know. Yeah. Um, well, he, like, he wasn't there for his kid, like, it. Oh, and he was like always on drugs, like they like, abused the shit out of it. Like it, 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 it was kind of, it kind of makes sense why Junior turned out the way that he did. You know what I mean? It's one of those situations. Uh, but look, yeah, Darren Till, Julio Cesar Chavez Jr. Uh, Jake said he might fight the winner of this fight. So I mean, you know, the let the uh, the old man tour or MMA fighter tour. You know, Actually, he would kind of he would kind of go younger though. He, I, be, guess, I guess you're right. This would be a pretty good step down for him. This would 
Yeah, I guess you're right. You know, I think Darren would just be a little bit older than, well, not a little bit, but Darren's little. yeah, Darren's like thirty or thirty one. I want to say at this point in his career, Chavez Junior is approaching his. He's he's in his mid to late thirties now. Um, bless you. Yeah, Chavez Junior's mid to late thirties now, and it honestly depends on which version of Chavez Junior shows up. If he's actually been training, he'll probably he should win this one. You know, but I don't know, man. I don't know. They also announced uh, what's that Indian dude, Narej Gorat Goyat or something. That Indian dude that called out Jake Paul, who was like 135 pounds. He's going to fight on this shit? He's, yo, you didn't hear this? He's going to fight Winderson Nunes. Dude, the, the dude from Misfits. The super like famous Brazilian guy? Yeah, who's like 205 pounds. He's like so much bigger than him. Dude, Winderson had fucking hands though. Yeah, but I guess like Goyat, like he was like a part of, like he's he's a legit pro boxer. He was going to fight Amir Khan in 2019. Yeah, that probably would have been good for him. By the no, way, he would have Amir Khan's up. like a high ranking general now. And uh, I could be wrong. I believe it's Pakistan. Are you fucking with me right now? Yeah. Something in the military. Like, he's reached a high rank in the military. This, this, I saw this literally, like, earlier this week. Oh, he had an honorary rank of captain by the Pakistan military. Something like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what huh. It was. Well. Yeah. That, shit. That was a video I saw down there, I think. 